Hi learners! Welcome to Math is Fun with Sir O. Today, I will be discussing statistics. This time, we're going to discuss the measures of central tendency for grouped data. Now, for the learning outcomes of this lesson, at the end of this lesson, the learners will be able to first know and learn the mean, median, and mode as measures of central tendency, and compute and interpret the measures of central tendency for the grouped data. Now, let's go to our lesson proper. First, we're going to know the different formulas of our measures of central tendency for the grouped data. For our mean, that is bar x is equal to summation of fx all over n, where your fx is the product of frequency and class mark, and our n is the total frequencies. Now let's go to the median formula. That is bar x is equal to lb sub mc, plus we have there the symbol for grouping, summation f divided by 2 minus cf, all over f sub mc, then we're going to multiply that with our CW, where our LB sub MC is the lower boundaries of median class, summation F is the total frequencies, CF is the cumulative frequency before or preceding the median class, your F sub MC is the frequency of median class, and your CW is the class width. Now let's go to the mode formula. So bar x is equal to LB sub MO, plus we have there the symbol for grouping, D1 divided by the sum of D1 and D2, then multiply that with CW, where our LB sub MO is the lower boundaries of model class, our D1 is the difference of the model class and the class preceding it, for our D2, the difference of the model class and the class succeeding it. Compute the mean, median, and mode of the following scores of the students in basic statistics test. Now we have here our frequency distribution. So the first column will be the ranges of the scores of the students. On the second column, we have there the number of students who have their corresponding score on the first column. Now we're going to spread out our frequency distribution. We're going to make it six columns. So the first column will be the ranges of our scores. The second column will be our frequencies. Okay. But before we proceed to the fourth and to the sixth column, we're going to summate first our frequency and that is equal to n is equal to 48, meaning we have 48 number of students. Now let's go to the third column, lower boundaries. It is represented by LB. So how are we going to obtain our lower boundaries? So we're going to consider here, all right, R1. So that is the range number one of our scores. So we have 11, 16, 21, and so on. So to get for the lower boundaries, just subtract 0.5 to each of the value there in our rows. So for row one, 11 minus 0.5. So we have here 10.5. On the second row, we have 16 minus 0.5. And that is equal to 15.5. On our third row, we have there 21 minus 0.5, and that is equal to 20.5, and so on. All right? Now let's go to our fourth column. So class mark. So that is represented by our x. So if we're going to get our class mark, just simply add our first range and second range values. Then we're going to divide them by. Two. So these are our ranges. So the first value there represented by R1, the second value there represented by our R2. Okay, we're going to add your 11 and 15, that is equal to 26 divided by 2. So we have there 13. Okay, so for our row 1. Now for our row 2, we have 16 plus 20, and that is equal to 36. 36 divided by 2 will give us 18. Then the next row would be 21 plus 25. That is 46 divided by 2, and that will give us 23, and 
so on. Okay? Now, let's go to the fifth column. So, the product of your F and X. So, we have here on the second column the values of our F. And here on our fourth column, the values of our X. Okay? So, on the first row, we have 1 times 13 is equal to 13. On the second row, we have 2 times 18 will give us 36. On the third row, we have 5 times 23 will give us 115 and so on. Okay? So, the next step is we're going to summate the values of our F and X. We have there summation of F, X is equal to 1,549. Okay? Now, let's go to the last column in our frequency distribution. So, cumulative frequency, which is represented by CF. So, how are we going to do your cumulative frequency? Now, start with the first column for our frequency. Just copy it here. One. Okay. The next thing is, on the second row, we're going to add our first row and second row. So, that is 1 plus 2 will give us 3. Now, for our third row, we're going to add this time 1, 2, and 5. So, and that would give us 8 and so on. All right? So, now, this time, let's apply our values in our formula. So, let's start with our mean. So, the formula for the mean is bar x is equal to summation fx all over n. Now, as you notice, we have here our value for summation of fx. That, and that is equal to 1,549. And our n value there is equal to 48. So, substitute our values to our formula. So, bar x is equal to summation of fx is equal to 1,549 divided by our n, which is equal to 48. So, our mean is equal to 32.27. Any question? None. So, now let's go to our median. So, same frequency distribution that we're going to base our solution. So we have there the formula for our median. So bar x is equal to LV sub MC plus we have there the symbol for grouping summation of F divided by 2 minus CF all over F sub MC. Then we're going to multiply that with your CW. Okay. So first we're going to identify each component of the formula. So this is our median class. Okay, so we have 31 to 35, 12, 30.5, 33, 396, and 31. So this will be our median class. So let's identify our frequency of median class. Just go to the second column, which is our frequency. Then just match that to the median class, which is here. So that is 12. So for our F sub MC, that is equal to 12. Now, for the lower boundaries of median class, so still we have our median class, and just go to the column lower boundaries, and that is equal to 30.5. Now, for our CF, cumulative frequency, before or preceding the median class. So, before the median class, so 31, we have there our CF, which is equal to 19. Then we have our CW, or class width, which is equal to 5. So that is the range from 31 to 35. So five numbers. Okay. And then we have your summation F, which is equal to the total frequencies or our N. Okay. So we have already completed the components of our formula. So this time we're going to substitute the values to our formula for the median. So we have there... Okay, your LV sub MC is 30.5 plus, then we have there the symbol for grouping. Summation of F is equal to 48 divided by 2 minus your CF is 19, right? Then divided by 12, then multiply that with 5. So let's simplify our solution. So 48 divided by 2 will give us 24. So 24 minus 19 will give us 512. 
So before you add 30.5, we're going to multiply first your 5 twelfths with 5. So that will be 30.5 plus 2.08. Then our median is equal to 32.58. Okay. Now let's go to the last one, which is your mode. So this is the formula for our mode. Right? In our mode, we are only to consider our three columns. So the column for scores, the column for frequency, and the lower boundary is represented by your LB. Okay? So the formula is bar X is equal to LB sub MO plus D1 all over the sum of D1 and D2. And we have to multiply that with our C. W. Now let's identify the components of our mode formula. So this is our modal class. Okay. So that would be lower boundaries of modal class 30.5. Okay. Then our CW or class width is equal to 5. So that's 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So that would be the range or class width of our sample. Now we have your D1. This is the difference of the model class and the class preceding it. So just go to your column on frequency. So your model class frequency is 12. So we're going to subtract, right, the model class that, that precedes it, no? Or meaning that is the frequency before your model class, right? So that is 12 minus 11. And eventually, our D1 is equal to 1. For our D2, that is the difference of the model class and your class succeeding it. Okay? So we have here our model class, which is 12. And the class succeeding it is 11. So 12 minus 11, still our D2 is equal to 1. But this time, we're going to substitute our values to the formula of our mode. Okay? So bar X is equal to 30.5 plus we have the symbol for grouping 1 divided by 1 plus 1 times 5. So simplifying we have, right? So 1 over 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 half, okay? First, we're going to multiply your 1 half and 5 before you're going to add that to 30.5, okay? So that's 30.5 plus 2.5. Then we have your mode which is equal to 33. Thank you so much for listening and watching this video. Please don't forget to like and share this to your friends and your classmates. And if you have questions, just go to the comment section below. And I hope you consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Again, it's my pleasure to create and make video on your math lessons to make your learning journey a wholesome and fun activity. By the way, this is your Sir O. Till next time. God bless and keep safe always. Goodbye.